Unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs have been gaining popularity in recent years as they're increasingly being used for commercial, research and military purposes. At the Singapore Air Show, Singapore researchers were showing off the lighter side of drones by having them perform. Sharon C with more. Some unmanned aerial vehicles have an artistic sight you haven't seen. Using a unique algorithm which traces the strokes written on a tablet, the commands are sent to the UAV which then replicates the character. In a scenario resembling a computer game, three drones circling a treasure in the middle will try to stop you from infiltrating. By using UAVs in games, researchers are hoping to create interest in research and technology. The reason I want to uh, use an interac interaction game uh, by using UAV is to uh, show people that research is fun. r and is are fun. Even we know that behind the research there's a lot of hard work, a lot of effort. But by putting this uh, interactively, the player will know and they will like it. In another demonstration, you'll have to keep a remote controlled car away from a drone. Okay. You're Thanks. Fine. Now it's my turn to give it a try. That was harder than it looks, but apart from fun and games, UAVs also have lots of real-life applications such as humanitarian aid and military use. If you have a humanitarian situation or you have a disaster where the area is not access, uh, accessible to humans, these are, these are things that can respond uh, very quickly and uh, be able to do search and rescue. Even though UAVs can now be bought off the shelf, these were built from scratch by Singapore researchers over three years. The project was funded by the Defence Ministry, which is hoping to develop expertise in this area. No one will sell you some uh, guidance and control software that is so sophisticated that is able to allow the UAVs to communicate with each other and to allow the system to control uh, so many flying things together in one setting. The Singapore Air Show will open to the public this weekend.